Yeah, very good morning, dear students. So, let us solve one more uh, important problem today. So, let us go through the problem. The problem statement is determine slope at the supports and deflection under point load. Okay, what they are saying? Slope at the supports and deflection under point load. They have not asked maximum slope and maximum deflection. They are asking us slope at the supports and deflection under point load. So here first check whether the loading is symmetrical. So concentrated load is acting but it is not acting at the center. So from point A it is at 3 meters, from point B it is at 2 meters. So it is a problem of unsymmetrical loading. Till now whatever the problems we have solved. So all the problems were symmetrical loading. This is an unsymmetrical loading correct so when the load is unsymmetrical so you will not get the maximum deflection exactly at the center and you will not get uh, the theta a and theta b same okay theta a and theta b will be different and even the maximum deflection will not be exactly at the center but here they have not asked maximum deflection they are asking slope at the supports what is theta a and what is theta b and what is delta c so the deflection under point load the point load is acting at c so what is delta c they are asking okay so this is an very much important problem usually in the examination such type of problems will be asked okay let us go through this so if you draw the elastic curve so how it will be so this is the elastic curve the bent shape assumed so what they are asking they are asking this delta c correct so again if i draw the bending moment diagram how the bending moment diagram the standard figure i had given you so moment at a is zero moment at b is zero when the load is acting about this point it is maximum correct so even i had given for this type of triangle where the cz will be and uh, what will be the uh, area correct half into base into height so now what is this height so this is w a b by l standard i had given you so what is this w a b by l a is means a equal to 3 meters from here to here so b means 2 meters so this height will be w a b by l so directly or else for a t take uh, find out what is ra and what is rb how you calculate ra so take moment about b equal to zero you will get ra then a plus sigma v equal to zero you will get what is rb you know how to calculate the reactions calculate the reactions moment about this point will be ra into three meters directly or else moment at b uh, here will be rb into two meters directly or else use this formula wab by l this standard w is how much 80 so 80 a is three meters and b is 2 meters divided by total L. L is 5 meters. Okay. If you simplify this, you will be getting 96 kilonewton meter. So, but what we want? So, M by E R diagram. So, it will be 96 by E R. So, this side will be 96 by E R. Is that okay? This is M by E R diagram. So, now, so whenever there is an unsymmetrical loading is there. So, first let us calculate what is the slopes and what is deflection by drawing the tangents first okay listen carefully the procedure how so this is the diagram up to m by a diagram you have understood okay now what we need to do we need to draw a tangent from point a or point b depending upon the the load where the position of load is there it says where the uh, what you can say distance of that point load is maximum from which support from that support you need to draw the tangent let me explain you once again so where the distance of the point load is maximum with respect to which support at that particular support draw the tangent so if if you see here so this point load is 3 meters from point a 2 meters from point b so this at is having the distance more from point a where the distance is more about that point you need to draw the tangent if i draw the tangent so it will be somewhere something like this 
okay straight line so if i draw a tangent it will be something like this okay what i have done so this is the elastic curve okay i have drawn a tangent from point a this is tangent at a okay way to draw the tangent at a why to draw the tangent at a so the distance of that point load is maximum from point a so if this is 3 meters this is 2 meters then i could have drawn the tangent from point b i hope you are getting so check the distance of point load with respect to which support it is maximum about that particular point draw the tangent here if it is this distance is more then draw the tangent from point b is that okay so step 1 draw the tangent from the support which support where the point load is having the maximum distance okay so once you draw the tangent so join this so what is this can you tell me this is a tangent at a tangent at a so what is this the deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a correct how will write this t b a so what is that deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a that is with respect to moment era theorem 2 is that correct deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a so let us call this point as here b double dash this is nothing but tba deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a according to moment era theorem to this distance correct deflection of point b on the tangent at a measuring the point b distance from the tangent at a correct so time being so how this figure is looking like it is something like this this is point a this is point b and this is point b dash you are representing this as tba so what is this so when you draw the tangent this is theta a. this is theta a. a to b distance is total 5 meters this is 90 degrees so now for this figure this triangle if we apply tan theta so that is tan theta a is equal to what this opposite that is nothing but tba divided by base 5 meters is it correct so check it once again the same triangle i have drawn once again ab b dash ab b dash b double dash a b b double dash correct so this is theta a this is 90 degree this is t b a this is total 5 meters here to here 5 meters so if i apply tan theta tan theta is equal to t b a divided by 5 okay this tan theta a just to show it so this angle is very 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 much negligible so this tan theta a nearly equal to only theta a okay we want theta a so for small angles you will represent it with respect to tan just to write this equation so ultimately theta a so this theta a equal to tba divided by 5 correct so in other words this we need to find first tba let us have this equation or else if i take this here so 5 times theta a is equal to tba let us keep this equation okay so from this you are need to calculate tba first if i calculate tba i will get what is theta a what i am doing i am calculating theta a first okay so i have drawn a tangent from point a where the distance of the point load is maximum okay from that point so then this is tba this triangle is represented like this so tan theta a is nothing but tba divided by 5 correct if you apply tan rule so this angle is this slope is very 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 small so you know it so this tan theta is nearly equal to theta a so this theta a is equal to tba divided by 5 okay or else if i take this side so tba is equal to 5 times theta a okay what is tba so tba this is according to moment era theorem 2 correct according to moment era theorem 2 tangential deviation of point b with respect to tangent drawn at a is given by what moment of m by er diagram between 
a and b and moment is taken about point b where the deflection is required about this point so this is the bending moment diagram so cz for this entire thing if you consider so here it will be cz so we want this distance what is this distance l plus b by 3 correct so if i want this this is l plus a by 3 this is standard i had given this figure diagram okay this is l plus b by 3 so if you substitute the values what is l total 5 5 plus 2 divided by 3 5 plus 2 divided by 3 okay do it how much you are getting check it okay for time being so let us continue okay moment of m by a diagram between a and b taken about b okay so area area of this a and b the point a is here the point b is here what is the area of this triangle half base is 5 meters entire thing as i am considering one and height is this what is this 96 by ei and we want this perpendicular distance what is this l is 5 b is 2 by 3 so it is 7 by 3 so i will write 7 by 3 so it might be some 3 to the 6 2 point, uh, 3, 3, 3, something like this okay so this if you simplify okay so you will be getting 560 by ei so this is tba this is 560 by ei okay so this is tba you are getting so we know this equation in terms of theta a okay so now what it is if i want to calculate theta a so now here i will write so i know the equation tba equal to 5 times theta a okay so theta a equal to this tba divided by 5 tba is there 560 divided by 5 ei okay so simplify this you may be getting around uh, the value 112 divided by ei 112 one remaining yes 112 by ei okay so this is theta a so theta a equal to 112 by ei okay so this is radians this is meters so you can write the unit so i got what is theta a so what they have asked slope at the supports and deflection under point load correct so one slope i got theta a so here since it is not a symmetrical loading the slope will not be same theta a and theta b will not be same correct so i need to calculate what is theta b now so now i will go through this again so what is that according to moment area theorem 1 what it says the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve must be equal to area of m by a diagram so i will consider these two points a and b so i know what is the theta a i will calculate theta b now so the change in slope between two points i will consider theta a minus theta b equal to what area of m by a diagram between a and b between a and b correct so theta a we are calculated how much is that 112 by ei minus theta b equal to this must be equal to this must be equal to area of m by a diagram between a and b what is the area of m by a diagram between a and b this triangle so 112 by a minus theta b equal to half into basis 5 into height is 96 by ei okay so theta b equal to if i take this side so this is negative minus theta b equal to so this side is minus so simplify this 
take this one this side so theta b you will be getting 128 by e i which is minus okay this minus sign indicates anti-clockwise loops the negative sign indicates anti-clockwise slope okay you need not worry about this so ultimately theta b is how much 128 by e i okay theta a you got to know theta b you got to know so now we are left out with that is the deflection under point load so this is very much important so the next part so here deflection under point load so take this figure once again let me explain you so what you are finding this delta c let us call this point as c dash here okay so one more point on the elastic curve i will consider this consider this point as c double dash okay so i will join this line okay this total line so we want only this what is that delta c c c dash okay c, d, c dash nothing but delta c so what i have done one more point on the elastic curve c double dash okay so what i am calculating delta c this delta c is nothing but c c dash c c dash so this c c dash is nothing but so total c c double dash total from c to here if i deduct this minus c dash c double dash only if i deduct this from here to here in total i will be left out with c c dash is that equation clear just check it total is c c double dash if i deduct this c dash c double dash what is left c c dash this c c dash is nothing but delta c okay so now what is this okay if i draw this figure this triangle it is something like this now this is point a this is point c this is point c c dash okay c double dash so this is theta a similarly how we have done theta a calculation so what it is t c a correct tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at a tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent drawn at a correct t c a correct theta a already known so what is that equation so tan theta a equal to t c a divided by phi correct similarly how we have calculated theta a so equation tan theta a equal to t c a divided by phi so theta a already have calculated correct so this c c dash is nothing but t c a i will write it as phi times theta a this is nothing but t c a this t c a is nothing but c c double dash correct it is phi times theta a i will write it here phi times theta a check this once again okay so a c c double dash okay this is nothing but tangential deviation of point c with respect to tangent run at a correct t c a this is phi how we have written tan theta a equation tan theta a equal to for this triangle this is 90 degree t c a divided by phi so you will be getting phi times theta a equal to t c a this t c a is nothing but t c c double dash okay then minus so one more i want this c dash c double dash this c dash c double dash is what tangential deviation of this c dash with respect to tangent run at a so i will be writing this one as t c dash with respect to a tangential deviation of this c dash from here to here from tangent at a okay so simplify this okay only i will first calculate this let it be the equation delta c equal to so this t c dash a equal to what moment of m by a diagram between a and c dash a and c dash means this from a to c from a to c this is point c from here to here only here this okay a and c and moment is taken about about the point where the deflection is required taken about point c that is c dash you can say c or c dash okay so a to c is this figure this is only the perpendicular distance so area is half 
into base is 3 meters into height is 96 by EI and moment about this only this that is only for this triangle moment about point C point C is here point C for this triangle moment is only what is that from here to here it is one third of base 3 so simplify this okay 3 3 gone so we'll be left out with this so some value okay so i don't know how much you are getting this value so let it be now come back to this so total delta c equal to phi times theta a what is theta a so it is phi times or three times sorry a to c a to c it is three sorry make it is three so nothing but three three correct three so three times theta a theta a is how much you got hundred and 12 by ei okay 3 times theta a minus this t is dash c half into 3 into 96 by ei so simplify this so we will be getting around 192 by ei that is delta c the the deflection under point load okay so please go through this again check this very much important problem usually in the question papers such type of such type of problems will be asked okay so just check this once again only this is important students so let us solve one more important problem so compared to last problem so there is slight change in the question okay so here the problem statement is determine maximum slope and maximum deflection using moment area method for the problem shown in figure so again here they have given what are the values of angst modulus and moment of inertia so let us uh, discuss this angst modulus and moment of inertia later so first we'll go through the problem first okay so here what they have asked so maximum slope and maximum deflection so theta max and delta max so in this problem so if you see the previous problem so they have asked what are the slopes at the supports and what is the deflection under the point load so in previous problem slope at the support means what is theta a what is theta b and under the point load here what is delta c in previous problem okay so in continuation with this so here what is theta max and what is delta max they are asking so theta max means what so the maximum slope will be either at a or at b so first you need to calculate again the slope at the supports theta a and theta b so whichever the value is maximum that will be maximum slope okay let me tell you once again so you need to calculate theta a and theta b so whichever is maximum that is maximum slope again what is maximum deflection so here if you see the problem the load is unsymmetrical like previous problem so in previous problem deflection under the point load was required delta c so here it is required to calculate maximum deflection so maximum deflection will be near to the center not exactly center but near to the center okay so we don't know what exactly the distance of that maximum deflection from point b and from point a we doesn't know so it will not be exactly at the center also but near to the center you will be having the maximum deflection whenever you come across the simply supported beam so the deflection will be something like this elastic curve correct so maximum deflection near to the center not exactly center if the symmetrical loading is there so exactly it will be at the center if the symmetrical load is not there it is near to the center okay correct so now uh, first we'll draw the elastic curve so like previous problem we'll go ahead with this problem so this will be the elastic curve correct so deflected shape so this is theta a 
and this is theta b so we need to find theta a and theta b correct so now we need to first draw the tangent from any one of the support which support will choose so like we have discussed in previous problem whether the point load is uh, far from point b or it is far from point a we need to first check that correct so here if you see the point load from point a is 2 meters from point b is it is 4 meters so which means so where the maximum distance of the point load is there from that particular support we need to draw the tangent so if you see the previous problem we have drawn a tangent from point a since the point load and a was the having the maximum uh, distance okay so now here it is from point b so i will draw the tangent from point b like previous problem so there is absolutely no change in the procedure so this is tangent at b so i have drawn a tangent from point b since this point load is having maximum distance from point b this is 2 meters this is 4 meters if this is 4 meters i could have drawn from point a correct so i hope you got this like previous problem i will join this so we want this what is this like previous problem tangential deviation of point a with respect to tangent drawn at point b correct this is a tangent at b the deviation of point a with respect to tangent at b so this is the distance or the deflection of point a correct t a b correct so again so if i draw this a triangle this is point a this is point b this is theta b and this is so let us say any one particular but a double dash correct so what is this distance a to b it is total 6 meters okay so this is t a b so tan theta b equal to what t a b divided by 6 this tan theta b nearly equal to only theta b is equal to t a b divided by 6 correct so to find theta b we need to find t a b first okay so according to moment area theorem 2 correct what is t a b so t a b equal to moment of m by er diagram between a and b and the moment is taken about which point where you are calculating the deflection about point a correct so first we require the bending moment diagram so how the bending moment diagram will be so if i draw this so this is the load so the bending moment diagram will be a triangular correct so so what is this height this is w a b by l so what is a a is 2 meters and b is 4 meters from here to here it is 2 meters from here to here it is 4 meters so w is 100 100 into 2 into 400 divided by l is 6 if you simplify this you will be getting 133 point Three, three. So we want M by ER diagram. So 133.33 by EI. Okay, just check this. After simplification, you will be getting 133.33 by EI. Okay, so this will be the diagram, bending moment diagram, M by ER diagram. So let us do this. So what is this area of triangle half into base is 6 meters into height is 133.33 by EI this is the area into perpendicular distance about point A so CZ will be somewhere here from here to this distance what is this L plus A by 3 correct so what is L 6 plus A is 2 meters divided by 3 correct 
so perpendicular distance about a cz will be here so i had given the standard figure like previous problem this one l plus a by 3 so what is this distance this side if you calculate this is l plus b by 3 correct this is not required now we are taking moment about a so this is required l plus a by 3 so if you calculate this you will be getting 166.64 by ei so tab is 1066.64 by ei so ei value is given so time being let it be in terms of ei only we will calculate later okay what is this ei is okay so we can discuss about that later okay let us come back to this figure so theta b equal to so we are knowing this theta b equal to tab by 6 so therefore theta b sorry theta b equal to tab divided by 6 so what is this 1066.64 by 6 ei so again if you simplify this you will be getting 177.77 by ei this is theta p okay radians in terms of radians this is in terms of meters okay so you got what is theta b so one slope you got what is theta b now we need to calculate theta a okay so in this theta a and theta b whichever is maximum that is maximum slope whatever the question they have asked so again according to moment area theorem one what is that change in slope between any two points so one point is known so one more point i am calculating at a so theta a minus theta b is equal to what sorry this is area of m by er diagram between a and b correct so theta a you need to calculate minus theta b is 170.77 by er this must be equal to area of m by er diagram between a and b so what is that this triangle what is that half into base is 6 into height is 133.33 by ei 133.33 by ei this height correct so simplify this so if you take this side so this whole plus 177.33 Seven seven by EI. So if you simplify, so you will be getting theta A equal to five hundred and seventy seven point seven six by EI radians. This is theta A. So now compare theta A and theta B. So this is five seventy seven point seven six by EI. This is 177.77 by EI. Which one is maximum? If you compare theta A or theta B. So it is theta A. So maximum slope is equal to theta A is equal to 577.76 by EI radians. Correct? So this is the maximum slope okay so this is same like the previous problem there is no absolutely change in the procedure okay so this is with respect to slope so now we need to find one more thing what is that maximum deflection so how to find maximum deflection okay so let me draw the figure once again So here the load was there this is point a this is point b so this is point c so this will be the elastic curve correct 
so let us consider one point here in between this is 2 meters this is 4 meters so as we have discussed the maximum deflection will be near to the center not exactly 3 meters 3 meters but near to the centers near to the center means near to 3 meters so this is 4 meters this is 2 meters means it is acting in the region bc correct from this point to this point the maximum deflection okay so you are aware about the maximum deflection what you are aware about the maximum deflection so we are finding maximum deflection okay so the point where deflection is maximum okay the slope is zero correct about the point of maximum deflection slope will be zero means if i consider this point as x okay if i consider this point as x only so then theta x will be zero at the point of maximum deflection because i am considering maximum deflection at this point so this is x okay let us say x this is at a distance x let us consider so this maximum slope uh, sorry maximum deflection is at a distance x from point b is that okay so where exactly the maximum deflection slope will be zero you are aware about this so what we have done so the maximum deflection will be in the region bc so we have considered somewhere near to c so from b it is at a distance x is that okay so now so we have drawn uh, the previous the tangent from a correct so this is a line so now here what i will do i will draw this line and this line this is entire one line so what we are finding is from here to here so maximum deflection that is delta x so let us call this point as x this point as x dash this point as x double dash like previous problem so this is x so this is x dash and this is x double dash correct so once again let me explain you so maximum deflection is in the uh, region between bc so we have considered it is at a distance x from point b so i have joined this so what we are finding delta x maximum deflection from here to here so again from tangent at b whatever i have drawn so i have joined this i have named x x dash x double dash so ultimately what is i will write it here what is delta max so that is delta x is equal to what x x dash this is x x dash this must be equal to x x double dash total minus if i deduct this that is that x dash x double dash like previous problem total minus this i will be getting this is that okay check it okay so first i need to find this x before going to this i need to find the value of x such that i will be calculating this later part so what is this x at what distance from point b it is maximum it is not exactly at the center but near to the center so let us find the x first so to find this x let us go with according to moment era theorem okay let me let me draw this your bending moment diagram m by a diagram once again so this height is uh, 133.33 by a correct so this was m by a diagram okay so now what i will do i will use moment era theorem one so what is change i said so the change in slope between any two points on the elastic curve must be equal to area of m by a diagram between those two points i know what is the slope at b so i know what is the theta x theta x is zero so what i will do b point and x point i will consider b point and x point 
okay so if i write like this theta b minus theta x the change in slope between point b and point x must be equal to area of m by a diagram between b and x so what is point b so this is point a this is point b the point x is here so somewhere here correct so this is x i require the area only this correct so leaving this i require the area only this shaded part so area of m by a diagram between b and x so this theta x is zero so theta b already you have calculated that is theta b is 177.77 by a this must be equal to area of m by a diagram between b and x so what is the area of this triangle so this how much is this total this is 4 meters so this is how much you have considered at a distance x okay what is this side then this height is 133.33 by a what is this height so if you consider these two triangles they are having similar base so something like this correct the base is same this is height this height okay they are two triangles okay since they are having the same base they are be called as similar triangles okay if you consider similar triangles from similar triangles so what i will do so i will write like this okay when the base is 4 meters when the base is 4 meters height is 133.33 by ei so let it be ei so when the base is x what is this height correct when the base is 4 meters height is 133.33 when the base is x what will be this height since they are similar triangles you will be getting so if i consider this as okay we were calculating this x correct so by similar triangles so when the base is 4 meters height is 133.33 by ei so when the base is x what is this height so correct so this height you will be getting so something like this cross multiplication 133.33 into x divided by 4 this by this correct so if you simplify this so you will be getting around 33.33 x okay 33.33 33 x 133.33 x divided by 4 it will be around 33.33 x this height is 33.33 x so let us write the area of this triangle between b and x half into base is x into height is 33.33 x correct so again this theta b is already known theta x is 0 so simplify this for x so you will be getting so 33.33 x square divided by 2 so this side when it moves okay so ultimately you will be getting this x as okay so this is 133 33.33 by ei correct okay this ei this ei get cancels x you will be getting 3.26 meters so this x is 3.26 meters once you simplify for this x okay this is from point b correct from point b so 3.26 meters what it says at 3.26 meters from point b you will get the maximum deflection okay so let us come back to this so what is that delta max so let me write this once again so delta max is equal to x x x dash is equal to total x x double dash minus this x dash x double dash correct so what is this total this is something like when you calculating theta b this triangle this is x 
this is x double dash so and this is point b so this is distance 3.26 meters now we have found this x value will be 3.26 meters correct this is theta b and this is what this is tangential deviation of point x with respect to tangent drawn at b so what you can write this one as x x double dash is equal to theta b equal to x x double dash divided by 3.26 or else x x double dash equal to 3.26 into theta b so i'll write this 3.26 into theta b minus what is x dash x double dash x dash x double dash so this is tangential deviation of this x dash with respect to tangent drawn at x uh, point b correct so this is deviation okay so i'll write this as tangential deviation of x dash with tangent drawn at point b correct so like according to moment era theorem 2 you need to solve this okay if i write this 3.26 into theta b is 170.77 by ei so this value minus t x dash b according to moment era theorem 2 what it is moment of m by er diagram between x dash and b and the moment is taken about which point about the point where the deflection is required so where the deflection is required about x dash correct so now if i write this this is as usual 3.26 177.77 by ei so this so between this diagram so area half into base is 3.26 into height is 33.33 into x that is 3.26 this is what this is area into distance about x dash where is x dash about this point cz will be here from this to this what is this for this triangle one third of base base is what x so this is one third of base base is x 3.26 so this is the moment so simplify this delta max you will be getting 387.07 by ei okay that is meters 387.07 by ei i hope it is clear this calculation like previous problem okay go through once again you will be getting this okay let me summarize all the values whatever you have calculated first you have calculated theta b it is 177.77 by ei then theta a it is 577.76 by ei then you have calculated delta max is equal to 387.07 by ei okay all the three values so now in the problem given problem so let us come back to the problem so in the problem they have said so angst modulus e is 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square and i is 15 into 10 power 6 mm raised to 4 okay so what is e that is angst modulus these are elastic constant angst modulus of material moment of inertia of material these two are elastic constants okay always keep it in mind this angst modulus should be in kilo newton per meter square always okay so whatever the uh, units they have given you need to convert into standard this is standard 
standard values or units e should be in kilonewton per meter square and i should be in meter is to 4 these are the standards so if i multiply this that is the unit we want ei that is called as flexural rigidity the flexural rigidity should be this is e in kilonewton per meter square this is meter is to 4 so you will get kilonewton meter square this meter and square kilonewton meter square ei should be always in kilonewton meter square always keep it in mind this is very much important okay so in the beginning only do not calculate or substitute after conversion here so let it be in terms of ei only you will get some marks if ei is also wrong okay so once you get this now calculate what is ei okay so if i convert into standard unit so e is i am calculating ei e is 2 into 10 is to 5 newton per mm square into i is 15 into 10 power 6 mm raised to 4 this is mm square mm raised to 4 left out is square so again 15 to the 30 into 10 raised to 5 10 raised to 6 10 raised to 11 okay it is newton millimeter square so ei is in 30 into 10 raised to 11 okay newton mm square you are getting so but standard in it is newton should be kilonewton to convert newton to kilonewton so you are converting newton to kilonewton one kilonewton is equal to thousand newton correct so divided by 10 raised to 3 then again millimeter square to meter square you need to convert millimeter to meter square so this is newton to kilonewton again one meter equal to thousand mm means 10 raised to 3 this is 10 raised to 3 so it is 10 raised to 3 okay 10 raised to 3 it is square so it is square 10 raised to 3 whole square millimeter square meter to millimeter is thousand so 10 raised to 3 square so it is total 10 raised to it is 6 6 9 so ultimately here 11 so it will be left out with 2 correct 30 into 10 raised to 2 3 2 is a 6 6 plus 3 9 so 9 here and numerator 11 so 11 9 so left out numerator 2 30 into 10 raised to 2 it is nothing but 3000 kilonewton meter square this is the ei value okay so once you get this ei value so now you can substitute here theta b 177 7.77 by ei so if you substitute ei value so this theta b you will be getting around 0 0.0 592 radians okay so much less i hope you can understand what is the deflection okay so this theta a if you substitute the values it is 0 0.1925 radians okay so again if you substitute the value of e i 387.07 divided by 3000 so delta max so you will be getting 0 0.129 meters okay so these are the final answers so always do this exercise so always your uh, flexural rigidity should be in kilonewton meter square okay so let us stop it here so we'll solve few more problems in next class okay thank you